Okay, so this weekend, it's a two-day festival full of family fun with a focus on the city's vibrant culture and culinary scene. Joining us now live from the kitchen at Stonebriar, Amy Alpers with Visit Stockton is giving us a preview of Stockton Flavor Fest Saturday and Sunday. Amy, I'm very excited about this because not only are we talking about great activities and things, of course, we have great food that we have to talk about here. That's right, Melanie. We have two full days this Saturday, the 14th and the 15th on Sunday of food, arts, crafts, music, a stockful weekend at Stockton Flavor Fest. So right now we're at the kitchen at Stonebriar in central Stockton, and they are the host for our kitchen demo tent, which is going to have demonstrations and different learning opportunities all weekend long. So we're going to touch base with them uh, to see, get a little sample of what they're sharing with us. And while you wait, be sure you grab your tickets at uh, tickets.visitstockton.com so you can be a part of all these activities. And we're going to send it over to Wes, who's going to talk about some of the food and wine pairings we'll have at the festival. Good morning. How are you all doing? Uh, my name is Wes with the Varietal Experience, and uh, I've teamed up here with the Kitchen at Stonebriar for Flavor Fest. Uh, and we paired some uh, dishes that we're going to have out this weekend. Uh, nice little strawberry bruschetta, and then we also have a great uh, braised short rib that we do here at the restaurant. And we paired that uh, with a, a local Stocktonian uh, with an Amarita Cellars, and then also we're doing an Andes Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, coming from the Sierra Foothills, which is absolutely stunning, and then uh, Stella Muscato uh, coming from Sicily. Um, so the good thing here is we pair these wines, and we actually do this here uh, at the restaurant monthly. We do these dinners. So not just wine, we do all these cool events here as well. So really looking forward to seeing you all this weekend and trying some of these wines with these uh, amazing dishes that Chef put together for you here. Yeah, awesome. We also oh my have gosh. these on our menu right now. <laughs> Um, on our dinner menu, uh, we actually are bringing back a lot of our classics, new dishes from uh, our chefs that we have created. Our brunch is a great hit, bottomless mimosas. Um, we're bringing chicken and waffles on our menu, so very excited on that. But the restaurant is amazing, so definitely come down, come to our pairings. We have one on the 17th and the 30... 31st. 31st. Yeah. So if you like food and you like wine oh, yeah. and beverages definitely uh, come on down and try flavors so Fire i think that's a fun thing what we do here over at the kitchen at stonebriar oh that <laughs> yeah. looks delicious yeah okay. chef is amazing definitely follow us on social media yeah for sure okay and amazing we, um... <laughs> sorry regina were you saying something go ahead and continue oh i was just saying uh follow us on social um we post a lot of our events um, you know, what's coming up, our specials that are happening over the weekends, our daily specials that we have for dinner, um, and also we have a rewards program, so you can sign up and get notifications whenever we have something exciting and new here um, at the restaurant. And a quick question, okay, we know it's Saturday, Sunday, what location? Weber Point Event Center in downtown Stockton. <clears throat> we'll be there from 10 to 7, Saturday and Sunday. And you can find these guys at the Kitchen at Stonebriar kitchen demo tent within the festival. And all these kitchen demos and demonstrations and tastings are free once you get into the festival. It's $10 at the door, $8 pre-sale tickets. Perfect. I'm okay. Hungry, I'm I love this. Okay. Amy, Regina, and Wes, thank you guys so, so much. Again, go to StocktonFlavorFest.com. They have a full breakdown of the schedule with the food, the vendors. They're going to have a concert there, the Michelob Ultra concert. I mean, they got a lot going on over there in Stockton. That's the place to be.